Hey guys, so a while ago I made a video about some color mixing games. Today I want to do something kind of similar but kind of different, which is the online color challenge. Now I sent this link almost two years ago, oh my god, it's already been two years. I was actually in a hotel with my dad and we did the test together. So collectively, I, I can't recall what score we had. I think it was pretty good though. But but I'll try to look up what score my dad and I had and then maybe see if I do better or worse without him. Maybe my dad did most of the work. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So it says, online color challenge, how well do you see color? Fact 1, 1 out of 255 women and 1 out of 12 men have some form of color vision deficiency. Take the online color challenge based on the Farmsworth Meansel 100 hue test. Drag and drop the colors in each row to arrange them by hue order. The first and last chips are fixed, so click on score test when you're done. Okay, so let's just start moving things over. I'm just going to just quickly do like a rough estimate of things and then sort of shift them as I go. One thing I will say is that this would be way easier if they didn't have these black lines in between each box you see because when you put them side by side without any borders it's way easier to tell the difference between two colors <clears throat> two colors sorry when there's a little border like that it's a little bit harder because your eye can be tricked this is sort of my strategy i switch them and see if they look better or worse I wonder if changing the brightness of my screen helps too. Oh, I'm kind of, I can't see with all my lights on. Eh, I think I'm pretty good with that. What if I get it right on the first try? That'd be nice. Oh, no, this is hard. These look really similar, you guys. I haven't changed anything so far. That makes me nervous. Hmm. I don't know, man. I'm kinda nervous about this. Don't make fun of me if I have a bad score, okay? I do think that it is easier after playing ben Blendoku so much because I remember the first time I did this I think my score wasn't very good and then I sent it to my friend and she got like an almost perfect score and I was like dang how are you so good at this and she is the one who told me about Blendoku because she played Blendoku and she got a really good score on this and then I'm going in the reverse order. I took the test before, I played a bunch of Blendoku, and I'm taking the test for a second time. So I expect good, a good score this time. According to my friend, I better have a good score. Hmm. Man, what do you guys think? Oh, this is so hard. How long have I been working on this? Okay, not actually that long. Um, okay, let me turn off the light and see if I can see a little better. Oh my god. Oh, you guys still see me. Um, I also have like a pole in the middle of my view, so. Oh no, no. Oh, caught it. Um, okay. Let my eyes rest a little. Revision, okay? This is the important part, okay? I'm being ridiculous look at me okay I'm back you guys and um, I went through them and I didn't record it because I was just going Ugh, on the screen so I didn't want to waste my camera footage on that so I went through the thing and I feel pretty good about it so let's go ahead and score the test uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm ready for this I think I think I did pretty well actually. I I think the first one and the fourth one were the easiest, but I definitely struggled with the tealy colors and 
also the other tealy colors so I don't know if those colors are just harder in general or if I'm particularly less sensitive to those colors I don't know but we'll find out I guess so three two one go <laughs> I have perfect color vision you guys what a lower score is better with zero being the perfect score. The bars above show the regions of the color spectrum where hue discrimination is low. Ha! So even though I did struggle with the tealy colors, I still did pretty well on this test. I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself, really. I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Um, I definitely did worse when I did it with my dad, so... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> My dad was really into it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that score. I mean, who wouldn't be? So definitely let me know if you guys try out this test and what score you got and what colors are hard. Like, I definitely think teals were the hardest for me. And I like how they show you the spectrum of colors and where it's harder for you specifically. I think that's really interesting. Definitely let me know how you do and if you agree, is teal harder for you or is it just me? Do you have other colors that are harder for you? I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of fun video and I'll leave the link for this test in the description down below. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Apparently, you can also um, compare your score to people in similar demographics by inputting your age and gender. So I just put in female, age range 20 to 29, my score was zero. And apparently the best score for your gender and age range is negative 80. How do you get negative 80?